All right, we have another fine Muji product today to review. A 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil. Stay tuned. For custom sneakers, clothes, and collectibles like Supreme, check out sneakerpickers.com. All right, let's see. I'm gonna open this puppy up. We purchased on eBay a Muji 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil all the way from Japan. It costs $10.80 shipped to the door. I will have links in the description where you can purchase this from right from Japan to your door. Now, this is a Muji product. I've already reviewed the Muji fountain pen. Totally impressed with that pen. I love that pen. It's on my desk. It's ready to use. It's been my go-to product. I told you guys that I did order the Muji Mechanical Pencil. So we need to check this puppy out. So let's get this open and let's see what all the fuss is about these Muji pencils. As you can see, it doesn't come anything fancy. No wasted money on packaging. We have a real simple plastic container. <laughs> That's it. It comes in right then the label stuck directly to the pencil uh, let's see it's gonna say half millimeter balanced mechanical pen 0.5 millimeter there's a bunch of Japanese it says keep within do not keep within reach of children made in Japan Muji it's got a, a barcode on it and that's it so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take off this label. I wanted to take off that label so we could display this fine, beautiful white pencil. I don't think uh, the looks of it can be overlooked. For $10.80, it's got a beautiful aluminum bottom with the cross-cut section for the grip. And then the top has a beautiful white enamel with a cap under the cap is an eraser. Let's take a closer look at it. All right, here we go. You can see that beautiful cross cut section where the grip is and then you see an awesomely designed tip. Normally the tips aren't that thin but they designed it to look beautiful to flow right down into where that lead comes out. You'll see the upper part is this white gloss. It's beautiful. We have the pen cap. It's got the HB right here. As you saw, it did have the eraser. You now have your lead storage under that eraser. And you can see the eraser is plenty of eraser. Speaking of plenty of eraser, you get plenty of extra lead. So if you don't have any replaceable lead, but you want the pencil, buy it. You're gonna get a bunch of uses out of it before you're gonna need to buy a, a lead replacement for this. I guess the important factor here is how does it write, how does it handle, what's it actually like? You know, looking at it and all, that's great, but how does it actually feel on the hand? Now it's advertised, it even said it right on the pen, low center of gravity for stable writing, no slipping. Low center of gravity is important. It means the weight of the pen is down here. It's pulling this way. It's all seated underneath your fingers instead of above your fingers because when the when the weight's up here, that's what causes all the disproportion. If it's lightweight up through here, but you have something heavy to hold on to, that's what helps you do those steady lines. Some of the better, more expensive pencils I've ever used were very, very heavy at the top. So I can tell you is there 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 is weight at the top of this but again, yet this is a very, very light pencil. The pencil is super light. You could tell, like, you could tell this part of it is ultra light and then all the weights right here. But overall, it's still pretty light. Now let's get to writing with it. Oh, all right. So that's pretty uh, smooth. It's a Muji mechanical pencil. Well, I tell you what, it sits in my hand perfect, it stays put. It's not going anywhere, so the grip is good. I could feel that it's keeping the weight under my fingertips rather than above my fingertips. 
that's exactly what we want. Let's do a little bit of drawing on here. Let me pretend like I'm trying to sketch something out. And I'm putting this pencil into some real action. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's beautiful, baby. She's beautiful, baby. Get a little sketch in with it. Oh, man. Perfect. Perfect. Let's actually test the eraser out. Pull that off. Don't want that line. This line is stuck here. That one to come straight out. Be, be perfect. But this. I'm going to want to see the side of that fat triangle. Beautiful. Uh, we got to remember this is only a half millimeter lead. So you're going to get a nice thin line out of it. Which I am. You want to be able to have that fluid movement, right? You want it to be all natural and you want it to make the mark that you're looking to achieve with the movement you're trying to make, right? That's the whole point behind a writing instrument. So, I would say it's a win, 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 win for the Muji, Muji, Muji pencil. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to still finish off our doodle today with the Muji because that's what we came here for. We wanted to see what Joe Kaiser thought about it and we wanted to see how it could perform. I'm really going to need your guys' help a lot. Anybody who watches this video, especially if you've got to this point, right, that I thank you 100%. If you've gotten to this point, drop me a line in the comments and say, hey Joe, I really do love you. I got to that point. Right? It might look weird to others. You might not want to do it. It might be too embarrassing for you. But I'm just asking if you can do me that favor. This way I know who really truly is showing the love here on Joe Kaiser's channel. I'm back doing YouTube full time and part of what I do for a living is art. I thought it was only fitting that I'm going to include my artwork and what I'm doing for work on YouTube. So you guys always ask, how do you make your money? A lot of my older followers said, there's a bunch of you guys that are still around. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of you guys that are still around, right? And you guys know that I used to work for the oil company. It was a night time, or a second shift gig, right? And that you get it that I'm not there anymore because you don't see any videos. I used to make videos every day when I worked there. That was something they allowed me to do. I was allowed to do YouTube when I was working. They didn't care because I always got my job done, right? I was very responsible. So I know you guys noticed I haven't been there. We haven't been uh, up to our usual I used to be able to get people that came in, get them on camera, get some real off interviews, people, travelers, people traveling. I got to meet so many people when I worked at that truck stop. Uh, well, it was an oil company and truck stop combined. So what happens is I work second shift. Everything would close but one office. It was uh, in control of the oil, the fuel, um, you were central. Central Dispatch. You know, I had a bunch of, uh, I guess, duties and obligations and responsibility. What I do know is uh, I worked there for about six years, and over the years, the responsibilities got less and less and less and less. And I got busier and busier and busier. I mean, the things I was doing on YouTube, I might not have had a lot of subscribers, but it was bringing me business and... Yeah, I gotta tell you guys, YouTube has made me a ton of money. Like, you look at my channel and go, yeah, right, there's no way. You don't have enough views, you don't have enough subscribers. It's all the ancillary business that I got from that. Alright, it's not, it's not just about clicks and views all the time. It is about the, the networking and getting to know people and meeting others. It, it really is. If you're not doing that, you're in business then you're probably missing out somewhere on something. All right, I'm gonna tell you that right now. That's most likely the situation. You're probably missing out. Things could probably be a lot better. They're just not going to be because 
you're not really putting in your full. You, you got to connect with others. You got to connect with others. It's so important. I can't stress that enough. If you guys are into business or you're maybe looking to get into business or whatever, just hang out. Stick with me. Bear through my videos. I'll try not to make them too long, especially when I'm supposed to be reviewing this pen and we're just going off into business, right? I wanted to finish my doodle for you guys. Plus, I want to make this more personal. I know I've been doing my videos and just adding in that that music, that background sound, and you know, just trying to give you some visuals. But for now on, we're gonna talk. We're gonna become one. We're gonna, now I'm really kidding. But I think it's pretty cool if I could draw for you guys and we can have a little chat, and then you guys can go below in the comments. We can uh, continue our chat. But today, things are looking up. And that's the whole point of the video. Things are looking up. As down as they could be, they're really looking up. We wanted to get positive today and let you know things are looking up. Don't forget to check the description for your Muji pencil if you're looking for a new pencil and you're really into buying the quality products. That will get you through life. Get your projects done get business done, you want to impress others when you go into the meeting and you need, somebody needs that mechanical pencil and you break out the Muji, right? You'll have it. You'll have this beautiful white pencil to match your beautiful white Rolls Royce in your beautiful white wedding dress. Your wife will be beautiful white everything. <laughs> We could go white and white and white all day. Guys, have a good day. Have a good night. Have good whatever it is, wherever you're at. Joe Kaiser over and out. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace!